is the extinction of the masculine male and high-value man upon us. Strong and masculine men have been under attack for some time now. Hello everybody, welcome to this channel again. So today I'm going to show you how to add auto-generated subtitle on CapCut mobile app. You can also do this in your desktop app. As most of the people use mobile, for this reason I'm going to show you on CapCut mobile app. So for that, you have to go to the CapCut application. You will be able to see this interface like new project or AutoCut. Click on new project. Now select your desired video, like I'm going to select this video for the sample. You can see that your video is updated on the timeline of CapCut Mobile. Okay, after that you can see a button text. Click on the text button. Now there are several options like add text, stickers, auto captions, text templates, auto lyrics. So our desired option is auto captions. So click on the button auto captions. Now you can see there are three options under sound source, both voiceover, original sound. If the sound source is from your video, then select original sound. If you are adding any extra sound, then you can select the option voiceover if you want to have both if you want to create the auto generated subtitle from both voiceover and original sound then you can select both so in this case i'm going to use only the video source sound so i have selected original sound now you can select your language so under language option there are many languages you can see like Japanese, Korean, Portuguese, Russian, Indonesian and so many. So as this video is in English, I'm going to select English. Before clicking start, I'm going to share you another three options like identify filler words and pause. So if you select this, they will identify the filler words and pauses automatically and there can be added any dynamic options you can see the second option then you can also clear current subtitle by clicking the clear cut subtitle option you can see i have selected clear current subtitle option so let's click the start button you can see creating auto captions and is processing so you can see that the auto generated subtitle has been added Click on the video and see how it looks. Is the extinction of the masculine male and high value man upon us? Strong and masculine men have been under attack for some time now. So you can see that according to the voiceover, the subtitle has been generated very successfully. But you may have caution that if you can edit or customize the templates or the subtitles. So in that case, my answer is obviously you can do that. So for that, you can just click to the text here, any text, then you can see the option style. Just click on it. So there will be many options like font, style, effects, bubble, animations. Let me start from the first option. So at first, we can see there is an option named font. So there can be many types of font in English language or Japanese or Korean or maybe in another language. You can also import your desired font that is not available here. You can see that I have already imported many fonts like I am going to use this font. You can see that this font is in capital letters that's why I'm using it. Uh, after that go to the style option so before that i'm going to clarify you that there is an option named apply to auto captions if you select this this will be modified for all your auto captions you no need to edit the captions manually for each text then if you want to customize any single text from the subtitle then you can just deselect this your customization will be applicable on that particular subtitle or text but in this case i'm going to select apply to auto captions because i'm going to apply to all my captions after that there is an option name style you can see 
select any star like I'm going to show you an example like if you select this option it will look like this and so many options are there you can select the text background from this option or you can also change the text background from canvas you can see you can select any text background here like I am going to select blue or red anything you can see that the text background is changing according to my selection so I think YOLO is better in this section so I'm going to have it so you can see there are another options stroke stroke is basically uh, the border of the text let me select the red one you can see there is a stroke of a red color you can adjust the thickness from here and under the text option you can also select the size size of your text you can also select the size of your text by dragging your text even you can see I'm dragging it and I can also change the angle from here so I think the stroke option is not needed here so I'm going to select the black one and make it zero so after that the next option is canvas so this option is for text background so you can select the opacity like this you can also select the height and weight you can see the height is increasing or the weight is increasing so I'm increasing the height a little bit then you can also corner the radius like a circular type 5 like this okay the next option is effects you can also add any customized effects from these options like I can use these or these or anything you want if you like these templates you can also use these in this case I'm not going to use any template so I'm going to click on this none button so the captions remain as it is after that go to the basic option there are also some templates you can also use these templates so I'm not going to use any of this after that there is an option named luminance you can also give a glow to your text from here let's try one of this template you can see the glow of the text from here still I'm not going to add any of this you can also use the multicolor you can see there is a combination of multicolor in the text there are variety of color in your text so still I'm going to select none of this so under the effects option there are many options like this so go to the next category that is bubble so this is an interesting and amazing option you can see there are many templates if you want to show your subtitle as a bubble or any definite shape you can also use this so let me select this one you can see that my text is being shaped according to this template or you can use this template you can see it's looking good or you can use this there are several options for this so this is really helpful this application is really free and this is really unbelievable uh, let me try another one okay I think this looks better I can use this so let's go to the animation sector so you can see there are many types of animation and they are really amazing this is not just a simple basic animation they are really like a premium level let's try some of this is the okay you can see this you can also adjust the duration of the animation from here is, is the extinction is the ex so there are many types of animation you can see fade in glitch flutter jolt forward fold is the ex so that's all about the text now you can just click ok and you can see all your animations are made all your effects are created according to your customization and it is applied to all of your subtitles after that you can just click on this button 
and you can export your video so that's all for today so if this video helped you please like this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel to have these amazing tutorials every day see you in the next video